Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee, we're gonna be taking a look at the Roadmaster Falcon all-terrain tow bar. Before we start talking about the tow bar itself, I figured it'd be useful to kind of, you know, touch base and refresh ourselves on what components that we're gonna to need to flat tow our Jeep down the road safely. So let's go ahead and run through them now. So there's gonna be a total of five main components uh, needed to flat tow your Jeep down the road behind your motorhome. The first one's gonna be your base plate. And what that's gonna do is provide us with a solid and reliable connection point. That way we can hook our tow bar up to it. And the tow bar is gonna be that second component. And this is gonna be the physical link that actually connects the front of your Jeep to the back of your motorhome. The third main component is going to be safety cables. And these are pretty straightforward. These are there in the event of an unlikely disconnect. These are gonna keep everything paired together. The fourth main component is going to be tow bar wiring. And what the wiring is gonna do is transfer the lighting functions from the back of your coach to the back of your Jeep, uh, keeping you safe and legal. And last but not least, the fifth main component is going to be a braking system. And what this is gonna do is apply the brakes in your Grand Cherokee whenever you hit the brakes in your RV, helping to bring you to a more complete and predictable stop. And there is one other thing that I do highly recommend picking up. It isn't absolutely necessary, but it's definitely beneficial. And that would be a battery charger or a battery charge line. And I say that because just about every braking system um, that you put in the Jeep will use its battery power. So whenever you're towing behind your motor home and that braking system is operating, it's constantly using a little bit of your Jeep's battery uh, to operate. And what can happen is, you know, you can drain that battery or wear it down and, and everything else. And by using a battery charger or charge line, what's gonna happen is your motor home is essentially going to maintain or trickle charge your Jeep's battery. That way it'll stay fully charged and you're not gonna have anything to worry about. So with that out of the way, let's check out the tow bar. Um, and this tow bar, I'm actually a, a pretty big fan of. It's kind of that good middle of the road tow bar um, that doesn't have all of the bells and whistles, but it has the features that I personally would find uh, necessary. One of them being the fact that it is non-binding, okay? And this is a, a really important feature. Regardless what tow bar you decide to go with, uh, I would highly recommend getting one that is non-binding. So what that means is a lot of times when you're flat towing your vehicle down the road, um, the arms can get into a bind, all right? And so when you go to disconnect it, what can happen is it can be super tight and very difficult to get undone and it'll really fight you a lot. If you haven't experienced that, it's something you don't want to. With the non-binding type tow bar, if that happens, all you're gonna have to do is pull up on the levers here. So when you pull up on the lever, all of the tension will be released and it'll make it super easy to disconnect the tow bar from the base plate. One of the things that is really important with the tow bar too is how it's gonna pull your vehicle down the road. You know, is your vehicle gonna track well behind your motorhome? And um, you know, that's something you, you really wanna pay attention to. You know, if you got a tow bar that, you know, isn't responsive and things like that, you know, it's a little bit harder to drive and it's already stressful enough trying to tow something behind the motorhome. Why make it even less enjoyable, you know, by having a tow bar that, that uh, isn't any good. And this one I've heard really good things about, you know, it's relatively long. Okay. And generally speaking, the more distance you have in between your vehicle and your motorhome, the better. And what that's going to allow you to do is just, you know, the motor home's just going to track a little bit better, stay behind your motor home when you know when you're going straight a little bit better. And especially when you're going around those tight turns, you know, maybe you go into a gas station or something like that. The vehicle is going to follow the motor home uh, well and be responsive. So, you know, it gives you a lot more confidence whenever you're flat towing down the road. A nice touch uh, that this tow bar has is the fact that we have channels there along the side of our arms. And these are gonna be there so we can run our electrical cable as well as our safety cables through there. Uh, it's gonna get them up off the ground so we don't have to worry about them dragging or anything like that. But it's also gonna really help kind of clean up uh, the look of it. 
you know, it looks very presentable and organized and easy to figure out and use. Uh, just a quick tip though, if you do end up going with this tow bar or any tow bar really that has these channels, when you pick out your safety cables and your electrical cable, make sure they're straight. That way you can actually utilize the channels uh, properly. Tow bar is also gonna work with Roadmaster base plates and chances are pretty good. It can work with other base plates as well. Um, you can get an adapter for the ends of them. And if that's your case, uh, you can find these adapters here at E-Trailer. And you know, the tow bar is gonna be pretty beefy as well. It's gonna have a 6,000 uh, pound weight capacity. So pretty high number, and that's gonna cover uh, most of the cars, SUVs, and uh, maybe some smaller trucks on the market today. So with storage on motorhomes being very limited, it's really nice to utilize a spot that you wouldn't otherwise use. And you can actually store the tow bar on the back of your motorhome. So whenever you unhook it, you can kind of fold it together, lift up, it's gonna kind of latch into place, and you can swing it down to either one side or the other. And that's nice if you happen to have a, you know, a spare tire carrier back here, something like that, you can always clear it and keep it attached to your motorhome. Now you can store it like this temporarily or permanently. You can leave it back here, it's not gonna hurt anything. If you do choose to leave it back here permanently, I would suggest picking up a locking hitch pin. That way the tow bar will be secure, as well as a cover, which is gonna go over the tow bar and just kinda help keep all of the elements off of it. So when it comes down to it, a tow bar you really can't go wrong with, you know? It's gonna kinda check all those important boxes and, um, be really easy to use and operate. And that'll finish up our look at of the Roadmaster Falcon all-terrain tow bar on our 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee.